okay so let's do this and we're going to talk about the other subjects which is uh what is the other subject uh i said corporate device identifiers yes this and uh, i think we we did not do the harder one but trust me like what's coming after will be simpler than than what we just covered so what is in here we're going to go there what is corporate device identifier so for let me just do this so guys for devices that don't enroll via corporate control method you can still you can still enforce them to be classified as corporate by pre-registering uh, their unique identifiers very important notion guys and how to enforce a device to be corporate owned to be corporate owned you need to go first there uh, devices okay we already in devices and enrollment enrollments and you will go in where it is corporate yes it's there corporate device identifiers you will go there and you will upload a list of corporate device Co when i say corporate device i mean uh, uh upload the list of a corporate device serial numbers or we can call it i m e i uh to intune here and if a device matches an entry in the list it will automatically be marked as corporate okay uh what could be like the common issue that i saw about this is that some corporate devices are incorrectly classified as personal and to fix it you need to ensure that the actual device uh the actual serial numbers of the device is pre-registered in the corporate device identifiers okay and now one of the um, policy that most of the it admins want to apply and it's a very interesting one is that it's the question of how to block personal devices from in, from enrolling in intune because let's say you just want you just want this this list like you create a list and you want only these devices and if the device is added as personal you will want to i'm talking of course in an extreme security uh company environment policies where like things are are very secure what you would do is to add you will add this list okay and you will say to uh you could you could do both in into and in, in entra you would say to entra blocked so you will create you will create a restrictions uh, policy to block personal devices from enrolling okay and only allow corporate own enrollment method how to do this and by the way guys i told you about this uh yeah uh, but you can also you can you have actually two methods if um if i remember you can go to enrollment and go on conditional access and here you can create a policy and in the policy guys quickly and the other method is to go here also um and why we are doing this it's again to ensure that only company owned devices can enroll in intune and it reduces it reduces the risk of personal device um accessing sensitive corporate resources right so uh you can go here create new policy and for example say uh okay i think it's in grants and you can go here and say require device to be marked as compliant and remember what i say about compliant what very important guys that i forget to say before remember about all that we say before about the fact that intra will see if the device is compliant and he will grant access or not he will give access to this computer or not what actually intra will do he will connect with intune 
he will take his compliance policy, comp compliance policy, and he will say, oh, okay, you want to check this, you you are checking this, checking this, checking this. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to to see if this actual device has all the thing that we that you have set in here, okay, in Intune, and uh, so it's where you have this. Where is it? Compliant, yeah. You see. Require intra hybrid joint device. Require Microsoft intra hybrid joint device. And here, require app protection policy. We'll talk about this later on. And marked as compliance. And for a case, uh, for a case, let me remember to uh, uh, make only the co the company cooperate on device. Uh, because it's been a long time that I that I didn't do it, so... Oh yeah! Guys, yeah, I remember. The way that you do this is that there isn't any... Because I was confusing, because here, like, you have compliance, you can... Like, there's a lot of things that is linked to Intune. But actually, you don't go here. You go to conditions, and you simply said here in filter device, like, I just want corporate device. Okay? You just precise here... I want corporate device and and yeah that's it guys and you can configure a bunch of other stuff but it's only here that you can sorry it's here that you can say to um intra only allow corporate device otherwise block it okay that's it guys so um yep so it was very interesting guys uh very interesting you can also like make, make maybe maybe other research about this. So, okay, guys. So now part number two on this section, uh, it will be about. And when I say part two, uh, let me check why it says part two. Okay, okay, I see. Okay, I see. So, yep, part two. All right. So, guys, now we're going to talk about hybrid Azure AD join and Intune environment.